Good afternoon and welcome to Motivation Speaks with author Angel Ferguson. Today is August the 19th, 2017. We thank you for joining us. As the song plays, it's a new season. It's a new day. As that song plays in the background, our inspirational quote and word for today comes from Psalms 46, 10, and 11. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Those are our words of encouragement today. Be still. No matter what it looks like, no matter what is said, no matter what, he says, be still and know that I am God. If you are just tuning in, you have tuned in with Motivation Speaks with author Angel Ferguson. We'd like to thank you for joining us on this awesome, awesome Saturday. Um, I see that the clouds are about to open up in our area, but that is okay because we do need the rain. And I tell you to look at it in the spiritual realm. We need a spiritual clean cleansing. We need... We need God's rain. We need to be washed. And I thank him for doing so. If you ever want to know what has he done, think about the rain. No man can take credit for that. No man can say, I created the rain or I allowed it to fall from the sky. That is something that God has done. And we thank him for his many acts and his graciousness upon us. Today, we are going to look at um, how to get over me. Um, it's, a, it's a topic that uh, we all must deal with. How to get over me so that I can do as I am called to do, so that I can live my purpose upon this earth. Ask yourself how to get over me. I'd like to take the time to thank our advertisers, RT's Tree Service Incorporated. His services are tree trimming, demossing, tree removal, cleaning gutters. He's licensed and insured, provides free estimates. He also provides police, veteran, and military discounts. So if you need someone to take care of your tree trimming, please reach out to Artiz Tree Services Incorporated. His phone number is 813-526-8701. If you are looking for furniture for your home and are on a tight budget, I have a place for you. Visit Upscale Resale Consignment Furniture. The address is 1432 Main Street, Dunedin, Florida, 
347-838-34698. The phone number is 727-831-3371. You can visit Upscale Resale online at www upscale resale furniture Dunedin.com. You will find furnishings for your living room, bedroom, dining room, as well as some accessories. There is a special going on, 50% off. Ask Janice how you can benefit from reaping from that sale. Once again, that's upscale resale. Our topic today is how to get over me. As I look at the subject, I and I was up last night and I was Thinking about what we were going to discuss for today, and these words fell upon my heart, I believe that there is so much more in store for you to be done. There's so much for you to do. It's not a time to throw in the towel, as I know sometimes we get tired and, and we want to say, I am done. But when you have a call upon your life, I encourage you to pray. I pray also that you be renewed in the spirit of your mind, that you receive a refreshing of God's anointing. He said the joy of the Lord is our strength. So as you are getting tired and weary and you want to say enough is enough, I can't go any further, think on the joy of the Lord. Look over where he has brought you from. Think about the many lives that you have touched thus far, and I encourage you to press forward, for it is a time like never before to regroup your thoughts, reignite your passions, remember your purpose, and let us move forward together. Just want to encourage you today not to give up, but to keep pushing forward. He said, the race is not given unto the swift or to the strong, but to the one that endures until the end. God knew that sometimes we would get tired, we would get weary, and that is why he said those words. So let us reignite our passions today and move forward in his precious name. As we look over how to get over me, and I say me because I have been there, and there are some days I am there, and I look for, there are times you have to encourage yourself. When there is no one around you, and you can't find a soul, you must encourage yourself and I want to tell you that if you are waiting on someone to come by and encourage you you will be waiting for quite a while you must learn to be like an eagle and soar you must learn that what you give is is what you should be the first partaker of what you give so as you give encouragement to others you have to learn to apply that same encouragement to yourself and I do believe in order for us to get over ourselves we must first discover what we were created for we must stop reminding and thinking that we are the negative things of our past and I just came by to tell you today that you are not those negative things that people have said or or, or, or will say about you and, and neither are you the negative things that you think of yourself 
sometimes we hinder ourselves because of our own thoughts. It's, it's not because what someone else has said. It's because we don't believe in ourselves. We believe that because of our past or that uh, we don't need a certain statue that we're not good enough. And I'm here to tell you that, yes, you are. When you say that you are good enough, you are saying that what God created was not good. And I do believe that he created us in his image. So stop thinking negative about yourself. And I want you to start seeing yourself as God sees you. He does not see your past because he delivered you from that as you ask for repentance. He sees you as a new creature in him. God sees the potential that we have. Um, he sees us as what we can become. So I want you to start seeing yourself of the great potential that is within you. Yes, you were created for something special. And it is time that you find out what it is. And today we're going to tap into learning about what you were created for, how to bring it forth, and then how to teach others how to do the same. And that is where we're going to tap in on how to get over me. So won't you join me as we step into this lesson together. Let's look at the first area. Step one. Through Christ, first of all, you have to accept who you are. Accept it. I am who I am. Yes, I did those things. But that was then and this is who I am now. The per first part of anything is, is you have to own and accept responsibility of who you are. And here is the reason. There's a reason why you can accept who you are. And I don't want you to feel that I can't come, I can't do, because I, I'm not perfect, I don't have this, I don't have that. But Christ told us in Matthew 6.28, Come to me, all those that are weak and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus' gracious invitation comes to all that labor and are heavy burdened with the troubles of life and the sins of their own human nature. See, God knew we made mistakes, so he's not expecting us to clean it all up before we come to him. That is his job. By coming to Jesus, becoming his servant, and obeying his direction, Jesus will free you from the negative thoughts that you have of yourself and your troubles and give you the rest, peace, and his Holy Spirit to lead you through life. Meaning, he does not want you to come to him when you have it all together or, or, or that you feel you are at your strongest. He wants us in our weakest point, as in him, that is when we are made strong. Step two. Let us learn to get over the fear and the notion that that we have nothing to say or that we have nothing to give in this life. You are a survivor and you manage to get from one day to the next. It wasn't a perfect day, but you survived to the next day. 
you did so by his grace. Every day his grace is renewed. Every day we are given an opportunity to draw closer unto him. Let this be your day. That you stop hiding behind what you did. If you want better, you must step out and grab better. Better is at your door. Are you going to answer it? Or are you going to continue to allow the knocks to go unanswered? Every day, it's a new knock. We can act like we're not home. We can even go out the back door of our lives and ignore that knock. But what is going to happen if that knock stops? I tell you that don't let it stop. It's that pull. You want better out of life? Every now and then you think, I deserve better. And I'm going to tell you that yes, you do deserve better. But before you can get there, you must learn to step out of your own way. You are your hindrance. And you are your hindrance because you, you take those things that people have said and you've accepted those things and you allow it to hold you back. You are not that negative thing. You are not your negative past. You are a new creature today. And you, you are full of potential. Step three. And we're going to take a brief break right here. And we're going to continue to listen to this awesome CD because of who you are. If you are looking for a cleaning services for your business or your residence, please contact Fran and Ann's Cleaning Services. The owner is Angelina Green. Telephone number is 813-410-7922 or 813-978-1676. Please give her a call so that you can get a estimate on your office, building, or residence for cleaning services. Once again, that is Fran and Ann's Cleaning Services, located here in Tampa, Florida. Are you looking for a publisher? Contact Sulu2 Sulu2 with Ursula Odom. Her website, www.sulo2.com. Her phone number is 813-368-1628. Sulo2 LLC. We make old, new, in everything we do. As we are in our lesson, How to Get Over Me, if you are just tuning in, you've tuned in 
to Motivation Speaks with author Angel Ferguson. We thank you for joining us on this Saturday afternoon, August the 19th, 2017. Our step three in how to get over me is stopping the cycle of procrastination. We can find ourselves busy doing everything except for what we were created to do only to find that we have not accomplished anything at all. Every now and again, God will send someone in the form of a messenger, or even he will give us dreams as a reminder of the things that he has given us to do and placed within our spirits. And I found myself in this same position when someone comes to me and reminds me and of something and, and, and when my response is, I know, yes we know, but can I ask you, what are you going to do with the I know? What are you waiting on? And furthermore, who are you waiting for? I have a surprise for you that if you are waiting on someone, to move you beyond the I know, they are actually waiting on you. There are people, there are souls, there are words of encouragement, there are businesses, there are ministries, there are lives waiting on you. You were equipped, you are being equipped. And because we do not move and we sit and we, we wait for that moment, souls are at stake. A new generation is waiting on us as we waited on the generation before us to teach us, to guide us, to lead us. So where are you today? Who are you waiting on? because they are waiting on you. Procrastination is it's a, it's a huge thing. And every single day I come across someone and they haven't moved. And, and the, their song is the same from three years ago, six months ago. When are you going to stop taking the baby steps and grow up because even a baby grows up even a baby likes to see progression in their move they don't always like to crawl they eventually want to walk and then they want to run and then they want to move from your grasp and they want to explore other areas when are you going to step and stop procrastinating how long are you going to procrastinate that's another question how long are you going to procrastinate what is it going to take years from now you'll see someone doing what you had in your heart and that you wanted to do and you'll have an opinion of the way they do it I remember having a conversation with my mom just a few days ago and I said there are certain people that I do not take advice from and, and it lines up with the Word of God because he says D do not sit in the counsel of the ungodly but I do not listen to anyone who has not accomplished anything in their life and who is not going to make a move to accomplish anything those who sit on the sideline have a huge opinion of how you should do something or how you should plan it out but if you look over their lives they haven't done anything so what experience have you had to tell me how to do a certain thing um, that is when you listen to the counsel of the ungodly I believe that um, as we do things we should do a playback and we should review our, our policies and procedures as you will often hear me say you should review 
um, the things that you do and uh, catch those things, review those things, um, take those things before God. I do believe that if you follow his path for you, he will teach you how to do it. He will craft you and cultivate you how he would have you to do a certain thing. I'm not supposed to do my call like my sisters or my brothers. I'm supposed to do it according to how God has crafted and, and cultivated me and he's doing so every single day so I should not operate as I did a month ago um, I should look at the bar and I should raise the bar so be careful who you take counsel from um, sometimes we can say with this procrastination I'm waiting for the right time and I'm going to bother your spirit today and I really want you to think about this when is it the right time if you are if you are waiting for the right door to open uh, are you prepared to walk in that door and I always like to give keys of, of inspiration and just nuggets um, and here is the key in getting over yourself and dealing with this procrastination um, in order to open that door you must be prepared to go in and get the job done uh, we must learn to go be beyond opening that door and in all reality what are you going to do once you are given the keys to open up the door exactly what are you going to do okay the door is open now what uh, you can do one of many things turn the key open the door and stand in the doorway because you do not have a clue of what to do next or you can walk in look around and that's all you'll do because you have no plans to go beyond that point or you can even close the door because you are not prepared out of fear and procrastination you've talked about getting to this point but what have you actually prepared to do once the opportunity comes or you can get over yourself get prepared for the time walk in set up shop and begin the work knowing with confidence that as you make an effort the things that you have need of shall be added unto you we just have to learn how to become willing vessels we're going to take a quick break here and I want to go back and I and I'm going to stay in this area of procrastination because we need to get beyond this point we need to get over ourselves and be about the missions that we were created to do wanted to take the time and do some book promotions check out our book purpose goals and dreams as we touch the different areas of why you were created and how to pursue your purpose so that you can fulfill your dreams the book is available on amazon.com once again the book's name is purpose goals and dreams another one of our books that we would like to promote would be when the heart has changed uh, this book is dealing with becoming one with your purpose another book along that lines is the flight of submission both of the books are available on amazon.com for your purchase today On Monday, we will have our guest speaker, author Janet Pace, 
She is the author of Hear My Heart's Cry. It is a journal that allows us to deal with some things in our lives, coming clean and being real with ourselves. Janet Pace is also the owner of a awesome mobile spa where she does manicures and pedicures. Simply J Pace, as we love to call her, is a author, a motivational speaker, a entrepreneur, and a cosmetologist. She will be joining us on Monday during our uh, live podcast at 3 o'clock p.m. You can uh, check out her book. We do have them here in the bookstore, Motivation Speaks, uh, with author Angel Ferguson. I am live in the bookstore, Motivation That Inspires Bookstore. Uh, The price of the book is $21.00. You can reach out to simply J. Pace on Monday. You can order a copy of her book by stopping into the bookstore, visiting us online, or by purchasing your book on Amazon.com. It is an awesome book with quotes and with spaces to write with questions. It is dealing with us, getting to the root of us. Check us out on Monday as we have speaker Janet Pace discuss her book, Hear My Heart's Cry. Jumping back to our topic, how to get over me, and we're in the area of procrastination. I wanted to remain in this area because the words, I know, will not get the job done. When we say, um, for instance, for me, and I always like to deal with me, a year ago this month, I was at an event and I was speaking on publishing. And after the event, the co-host said to me, have you ever thought about doing radio live podcast and broadcasting and I said "Mm, I thought about it and he said you would be great at it you have a anointing on your voice and I see you doing it and my reply was we'll see and from time to time I would do a live video from our mentoring program and from the publishing company that I own But I never really stepped into the role. That was my way of saying, I know. And look, lo and behold, one year later, the same month, here we are working working and walking in that fulfillment. Um, I had the attitude, "Mm, I know, because I had heard it before, but I was not acting upon it. And why... Why let it take a year? I do know that God has a, his appointed time for everything, and everything is in his time. Um, and I was not really fully preparing for this moment. I would do it periodically. But I want to say about a month or two ago, um, it just fell in my spirit, and I started doing some motivational videos that are available on our YouTube channel and it was kind of getting me prepared for here and I just want to encourage you not to procrastinate Um, had I really sought God when that person gave me those words I do believe we would have started earlier Um, I'm glad that I did submit finally and and walk and do as God would have me to walk and do and not according to angels purpose um, but according to God's purpose and and that's where we have to get Um, we can only operate in the same level for so long Um, at some point when do you want to grow outside of where you are you have to stop procrastinating because God wants us to reach beyond our norm. He says, okay, you've done this and you've been doing this for a while and I need to, I need to broaden you 
as in he says enlarge your territory and here's the thing I had been praying about those who I reach those who get the morning inspirational segments who read the magazine hope and truth magazine and I was only doing it on the writing side but he says okay you've asked me to enlarge your territory and that you may reach more souls but I need you to come out of your comfort zone and I need to stretch you somewhere else and I tell you I felt every area of that stretch because during that stretch um, I've been in a wilderness season but how many of you know that in your wilderness season, that is your time to gather, that is your time to learn, that is your time to become equipped, and and that's what I did. So I am so glad that, um, like I said earlier, um, you have to become the first partaker of what you put out. So I cannot tell you to stop procrastinating if I haven't stopped procrastinating. I am a I am the first partaker of my words um, before I can hit the send button when they go out. I say ouch because I have to take those words first. Um, and and that's where we have to get. It is a part of getting over me, getting over you. Um, let's take a look at step four. How do you keep the door open? Once you have the key, once you've opened it, once you've walked in, once you've set up shop and you're starting to work, how do you keep it open? And I'm going to tell you, the first thing that you do is you remain humble. Following the path created for you and by being a teacher of those that God would have to come after you. That is how you keep the door open. You follow your path. You have a path that you have to follow. It's not my path. I can't jump in your lane and say, oh, that looks good over there, and I think I'm going to jump on your ship and follow your path. No, God has a, a path for each and every one of us, and it is up to us to learn what that path is and to follow it. And as we keep our eyes on him, he shall direct all of our steps. He said the steps of a good man are ordered by God. Keep your eyes on him for your path. Block out the naysayers. Everybody is in, is going is not going to agree with what you say. They're not going to like the way you do things. But guess what? I want you to keep this in mind. Who did God give the vision to? Did he give it to you as a whole? Did he give it to you as an individual? Did he give it to you as a married couple? Who did God give the vision to? So if he gave the God to the division to a married couple, it is for that married couple to fulfill that vision. Not another married couple. He gave it to you. So uh, my opinion, their opinion, his opinion, somebody from the outside does not matter because God gave the vision to you. That's how you get over yourself. Remember the visions of God. Remember the things that he has said to you. He gave it to you. And nowhere along those lines within that vision did he say go and get somebody else's opinion on how, he, on how you should do what he called you to do. It's not my job to give you a direction unless God tells me to on how to do it. My job is only to tell you to get beyond yourself. Stop procrastinating. Seek his face. See yourself as God sees you. And get to work. Stop saying, I know I should be doing this, but... I want to do this, but when are you going to get to work? You have all these ideas, and I do believe that success comes from God. And he puts these things in our hearts and in our spirits, and that's where we leave them. And then we sit and we wonder why things are not moving in our behalf. Why things are moving for other people and not for us. Well, first of all, keep your eyes on where God would have you. Don't compare what you're doing or what, even not what you're not doing to anybody else. Focus on you. Where are you? I really want to know where are you? 
it's time for us to get over ourselves. Step out in faith. That is what faith is. Faith is an action. Using the word I know, that's not an action. You know, but what are you going to do with it? How it will, what will tell me? What are you doing with it? Move beyond you. That is what we are going to do. We're going to move beyond us today. Stop doubting yourself. You are more than a conqueror in Christ. You are precious and, and you are uniquely and divinely made in the image of the Most High. He did not make a mistake when he allowed you to enter into this world. He did not make a mistake when he allowed you to breathe his air this morning. God did not make a mistake. He knew exactly what he was doing. It is up to you to take this opportunity and do something with the day that he has given you. If you would like to connect with Motivation Speaks with author Angel Ferguson, please connect with us via our social media outlets on Facebook, Google, Twitter, as well as Instagram. We would love to connect with you. If you would like to visit and read the magazine Hope and Truth online, please visit hopeandtruthmagazine.weebly.com. If you would like to subscribe to the magazine or drop us a line, email us at angel at angelfergusonswordprocessing.com. Our mailing address is 7402 North 56th Street, Suite A and B, Tampa, Florida, 33617. Our phone number is 813-336-2181. If you are looking for something to read... I encourage you to check out author T.M. Brown. She is the author of Struggle of the Women Folk, Tethered Angel, in a Life Not My Own. Please check out her website at www.authortmbrown.com. That is a, she is an awesome, awesome author. And I know that you will enjoy all three of her books. I do know that she is currently writing her fourth book. Please check her out today. If you're looking for a hairstylist here in the Tampa Bay area, check out Boss Hair. Let Boss Hair and Boutique help you stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Boss Hair specializes in cuts, sew-ins, quick weaves, and more. You can connect with Boss Hair and check out some of her work on Instagram at Boss Hair Boutique. Her phone number is 770-1174. That's 813-770-1174. We'd like to thank you again for checking out our bot podcast today and spending time with us. If you are looking for custom logos and designs, check out No Mercy HM Exclusives. Email James at jamesf at nomercyhmx.com If you're looking for custom logos and designs for your business, organizations, or personal use. Thank you once again for joining Motivation Speaks with author Angel Ferguson. It has been a pleasure to spend time with you. If you would like to listen to this podcast in its entirety after we have gone off the air, please visit our YouTube channel, author Angel Ferguson and you can listen to it in its entirety as well as check out our mentoring videos and other shows that have aired. Thank you once again. Enjoy the rest of your day 
And as we like to close out in everything we do, stay encouraged, encouraging others along the way. Have a blessed day.